in this session we are going to learn about multiple options in the file reader and the file writer over here so as we uh, discussed in the previous session i created one folder for file reader and one folder for file writer what i'll do i'll just copy paste one of the ADTA03 and the file reader and paste it over here please ignore these two folders here so in the meantime while i'll be explaining i'll be using these two folders so uh, what our uh, channel will be doing is picking this from this particular place and dropping it over here so that is the general uh, tendency of our channel which we created in the previous session so going to the options we can see uh, the schedule type is interval means at every five seconds this channel gets activated and checks if there is any file over here and will drop it over here that's the interval time and we can give it over here as like five seconds or like milliseconds or in hours it depends upon our client requirement so poll once on start means when we start the interface shall it start functioning yes or no so you can uh, use this option so in interval uh, we have time where we can give the date and even we have cron cron is very interesting part where we can uh, give the cron jobs uh, for example if i go over here each and every uh, cron has a specific uh, value to function for example if we want to fire this particular channel at 10 50 am on every last friday of every month during this two to two to two to five years we can give this cron job so if you want to run anything on any specific time which is a bit complicated to give in the time or interval we will be using cron so here i'll be using interval for practicing purpose and give it as five seconds source settings will be coming to this topic later and file reader settings the file reader settings we gave it as file currently but uh, we have ftp sftp smb web service amazon we'll be again creating another videos for them specifically so the directory is the directory which is picking the files from these are the directories okay and mm -hmm. star so yeah uh, we gave star here so that it will pick files any type of files with any extension for example if you want to pick only only one specific type of file uh, that is .txt i gave it as .txt let us test it so what we'll do i'll just copy this and paste it with another extension I'll just rename it to XYZ. Perfect. Yeah, it doesn't matter uh, what is the extension, it's uh, just for practice purpose. So I'll only keep as .txt. I'll save it and I'll uh, deploy this channel. You can see it will just pick the .txt and uh, paste it over here. So for much clear understanding, what I'll do is like after pasting it, it should delete that file after processing delete it so it should get deleted instantly after processing it yeah we have txt file it will get deleted that's it so it got picked only the dot txt file what i'll do i'll give the dot xyz option over here in the meanwhile so just for our understanding yep i'll give it as dot xyz I'll just save it and I'll deploy it. We'll go back to this folder. It should pick up here and paste it here. That's it. So it's working fine. So it's all about uh, how the dot uh, txt and extension works in this particular file reader. So in the meanwhile, I'll give it as only star for understanding purpose. And again, we can use regular expression here. If you want to pick up any particular file, which has any particular date or on the base of the name. For example, if we have a few halberts on the file name, we can use this regular expression. It's much easier to filter out files. We can even try this option in future, but as of now, I'll just uncheck mark it. And we have option known as delete after processing, which is nothing but uh, the file got deleted over here after processing. So uh, what we'll do, we'll use another option move. So move is nothing but I want to move uh, the particular file after processing to any other place if you if i want to save it for a future use so what i did is like i just kept it over here after running it should get moved to here so i'll just go ahead and give yeah i even already gave the directory name of this particular thing and it should get moved to that particular place and 
even I gave the name as original file name with the extension of channel name for our understanding. What I'll do, I'll just save it and deploy this channel. We'll see this should get moved to this folder. That's it. And yeah, we can check that it already moved multiple times previously. Perfect. This is working good. And uh, it's always good to stop it because it's keep on running in the background and we have a lot of uh, files coming here. So we'll try another uh, part in the source. If we go here, yep. So there's an option known as include all subdirectories, which means like in this particular folder, if there are other folders and other subdirectories, shall we copy that file or not? If I click no, it will not search for subdirectories. If I click yes, it will search for subdirectories. For example, inside the subdirectory, there is no file. I just copy from here itself to um, make it easy. I'll copy here. Yeah. So you can check in the move. There is only ADT03. Over here and over here, there are multiple files and they will get moved here because I kept it as moved. And yeah, I even clicked on subdirectories. I'll just deploy this channel. Perfect. And I'll go back. See, this file has been executed and that should have been moved already here. And same with the subdirectory that has been already moved. So that's how uh, this few option works in Merth Connect. Again, getting back to this options, what is error reading action? Like if we encounter any error while we are processing these files, what action it should take? like after processing action, whether to move or delete. As of now, we are using a pass-through interface, means we are not uh, creating any filters or any transformers to get error. So we'll be using that in the later sessions. And we have uh, other options like uh, checking the file size, switching the file age and what should be done, shall, shall we short it by date or any other things. And yeah, there's another thing. What file type it should uh, generate, like a text or binary, after uh, process moving it to another folder. So we can uh, also see the similar option in this destination. We'll talk about it there. And even the encoding, whether it's de default or big file. Generally, we won't use any other encodings uh, apart from default. And we'll go to destination. Similarly, we have a file writer and the pattern it should save in the destination. So from past we are seeing that it is getting saved in the date format I, ju I just don't want to save in that big format and i'll make it simple now without saving it in that big format okay control a delete yep so what i'll do okay i need to stop that particular dashboard so always make sure when you're using this while training purpose you need to stop it perfect i'll just delete everything I'll go back to my Merth channels, file, and destinations. Yes, I do. I'm a little bit not interested in this much lengthy file name. What I'll do, I'll just go and I want to use some small, small file name. For example, yep, I'll just use the name as channel ID. Okay, even I can give some other name, but yeah, original file name. I'll just give original file name means what what was the file name before it will be same in the output i gave it as original file name same writer folder and everything and here is here before going to the template i'll explain about this by deploying this over here and i'll deploy the channel and we'll see the file name should come as ata03 as it was originally given it's coming perfect no, no, no issues. So I'll just go ahead and stop it. Okay, this is a file here. Yeah. I'm going to stop it. I'll go to channels. I'll go to file. I'll go to source. Move to file and everything. Perfect. Yeah, we're in the destinations. Now we'll talk about what is this message encoded data, message raw data, and everything. So. To be more precise, I'll just make sure uh, I'll just go ahead and open this with Notepad++. This is nothing but the original data. If we try to manipulate anything in here by using transformers and everything, 
that is nothing but encoded data so what output we want actually over here but that option is nothing but over here in the template whether we need encoding data whether we need original data whether we need any particular uh, detail from that message we can just drag and drop it over here so for example i want uh, raw data because i'm not transforming anything over here so i'll get uh, raw data before that i'll just delete everything from here i'm not sure where this picking up all these things oh, okay yeah you know why it is picking up all these things there's nothing from here because we gave an option known as subdirectories over here yeah in include all subdirectories so the problem is like it is just picking whatever files we have moved over here it's keep on picking and pasting it over here i'll even delete that delete this it will okay interesting it's not getting deleted what i'll do i'll just stop it no yeah it's it already stopped control a control a eight okay i think there is something running in the background or it got stuck it's not getting deleted i'll delete it give me a second so after deleting it it's clear it's file reader and file writer i just changed the folder name okay we'll go back here and we will uh, we gave the file name as original file name that's perfect and we have something known as uh, encoded data over here or oh, like i just i'll just keep raw data means whatever we passed we need that in the output and we will see before saving it i just don't want to tweak a few other things it's subdirectories i'll change it to no i just don't, don't want anything from the subdirectory and even after processing action yeah move it to that specific folder that's perfect i'll just save this and deploy the channel so as there is nothing over here it's not picking up that's good so i'll just copy this before that i'll just open this so this this is the data which we have the msh adt 03 over here and we'll see what happens file reader i'm just pasting it over here it should copy and paste it over here perfect so what what uh, it is the same data which we copied and pasted over here but it's in the binary format because in this particular space over here we kept it as binary so we should always make sure we are using the right file options i'll again keep it as txt save deploy the channel i'll just delete this for our understanding purpose i'll just copy the normal hl7 message and paste it over here that's it it will copy it over here in the text format and i'll check is it working good yeah, it's working perfect so i'll just do one thing one small change over here i'll go to destination so i just don't want raw data if you want to try something else like any specific thing you can try it out for example if you want xml and t encoder you can drop it over here you save it you deploy it so as you don't have anything here what i'll do i'll just drag it and drop it over here and it should get again pasted over here as we are expecting perfect and we'll see what's there so it's it's, it's in some different format but uh, as it is our hl7 format it's not able to encode it it's giving something else so uh, depending upon our requirement uh, we do change it every every option over here has some something else raw data is the original data the transform data is whatever we transformed if you want some specific message id and everything we can create over here it's it's all about the data which is in the output so as of now these are all the options uh, which we which is which are available in the destination we can even uh, tweak on a few other things like regular expressions over here the cron jobs over here maybe in the future uh, interfaces when complexity increases we can uh, dig more into them
Thank you.